Hi, I'm Steve Klun with Green Shed Conversions, and uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about my solar array and the way I got it set up to charge all these different electric vehicles that we have here. We got quite a few, and some have, all of them have different voltages. So our situation is, how can we charge these from our panels? I've got 10 panels, 48 volts panels and uh, I want to charge all these cars and our voltage runs anywhere from 48 to uh, 300 that's Audrey's big hulk over there is 300 so how do we do that well originally I had set up a system with these relays to switch the panels into a series parallel combination and I had four combinations either all ten of them in parallel five in parallel and another five in parallel and the two groups in series or uh, two in uh, five in parallel and two groups of the five in I'm sorry five in series and two groups of the five to make parallel which would give us 96 volts so we got it we had a combination of, of 48 96 250 or 500 uh, which would be the peak output now the nice thing with solar panels is that when you load them down they don't care how far you load them you can take the whole 300 volts of solar panels and load them into a 12 volt battery and as long as the amperage doesn't push the battery's voltage too high you're fine my problem with the relay setup that didn't work was uh it's well somehow in the in the the switching from one to the other at certain times if one relay didn't switch fast enough it would burn out the relay i even had capacitors and diodes across there to try to help but in the end I decided I'd try something else because that didn't quite seem to take it so what I'm using now is I uh, outlets are very you get those very cheap I think they were uh, 50 cents a piece and lots of finding old cords is an easy one so what I've decided to do I have I still have my panels set up so I can hook them into either a 48 group or a 96 group uh, depending on which way I flick that one switch which I have to flick off of of a load I've got my my uh, switch right here that turns everything off from the from the panels to the to the uh, batteries right now I'm just charging my battery group and you see I'm charging him at uh, well, it depends on when the sun comes out, but, uh, I've seen this, I think up as high as, uh, 20 amps. Yeah. Uh, my voltage on the, on my small pack, this is two 48 volt packs together charging up. And the nice thing is I can keep track of how many amp hours I've put in there. Uh, so th what I have, what I've done is I've taken these plugs and to up the amperage just a little bit, I've wired everything together inside. I got my wires coming from the battery. And the nice thing is there's three wires in an extension cord. So I can wire one to the hot, the neutral, and the ground. And I split my load from the battery to the plug up here. And now I can take my... Each one of these groups is a 48 volt pack of batteries. I got one more here I'm starting on. I haven't finished him and I'll put more down there. And each one of these will go to a certain section of battery. So I'll be able to put my 48s together. And I do that with just a simple jumper here like this of old extension cords that you can find on things. So that makes it easy. So now when I want to... Uh, when I want to charge something, here's my charge cord going out there to the little car. What I do is, and I got this, I don't have my box set up yet. Nice, but 
Uh, so what I do is I just arrange these cords so that I'm taking my batteries and putting them in series with my panel. So right now I'm charging, as you see, at 9 amps. But I'm only charging into a 100 volt uh, setup. I want to charge uh, the, the car, which is about 150 volts. I will take my, my most negative from the solar pan panel, which that's this guy. And he, I used a dark cord for him. And I put him on the negative side. I take my positive from the solar panel, and I used a red one for that. I put it over here on my negative of my battery pack. So I'm now in series. I take my positive from this, and I, should, I haven't got these color-coded yet, but I know what they are. And I plug it into my positive over here. And as we can see now, we're charging at about 10 amps. Uh, this has pulled my panel down to right where he's in a good spot for putting out the most amperage. Uh, so we're putting out 10 amps. Uh, 100 of the, or 96 volts is coming out of these batteries down here. And, uh, oh, and it just turned off. Now what I have is a, uh, I have a BMS inside the car, which will automatically turn the car off when it gets charged. So we're all the way charged up with the car. That's why that just turned off. The car was all the way charged up. It sat a little while, and when I just plugged it in, that flicked the, the uh, charger off, which the charger is nothing more than this guy right here. I'm going to turn him off so that he doesn't wear down the 12 volt battery. Obviously, we're charged up. And there's my little BMS meter looking at the batteries. And yeah, 3.72, these guys are charged. That one is. Ah, that's my electric lawnmower. So. Yeah, this is not an automatic system, uh, but it's done with uh, uh, almost uh, no expense. Plugs very cheap, and these cords you get anywhere. So I'm going to unplug this guy here, and I'm going to go back to charging my 12-volt my, my battery here. And as we go, oh, we we're still getting 10 amps. So, yeah, it's doing good. All right, there we go. So, you got old batteries you want to keep charged up. And for a backup, uh, when I'm not plugged in, I can be charging here. When I'm not charging a car. Uh, and that's our setup.